these games, mm -hmm. um, we have got the, that, the games in that one, but those are, what are empty cases. So okay. We have got the games to go with them, we just haven't put them in. Okay, no problem. These are 10 each, are they? Yeah. I made some mistakes today. I can tell you that now. So if you want to learn things not to pick up, carry on watching. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Car Boot Chris. I'm a full-time reseller. And today we're back at a boot sale. This time it's in, well, it's a tabletop sale, really. It's an indoor tabletop at the Church of the Holy Spirit in Prestatin. We're going to head over there, see what we can find. See you there. These games there, mm -hmm. um, we have got the, that, the games in that one, but those are, what, are empty cases. Okay. We have got the games to go with them, we just haven't put them in. Okay, no problem. These are ten each, are they? Yeah. Got to do a deal if I bought them all? Would you do a deal if this gentleman buys them all? Um, <laughs> okay, so it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and there's a £1.50 there. Um, £40 for the lot. Yeah. Yeah? Excellent. I'll just take the games out, otherwise, it's all a waste of time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no problem. There's 40 there. Oh, lovely. oh, that's great. Thank you very much. It's always yeah, wise children, to do that. You know, when children, some people, you're always wise to children, do it. But some children, yeah, you're always nice. wise to do it, aren't you? Right, thank you very much. Thank you. I'll see what else you've got. I just popped out and see if you need help and you're sorted. Yeah, we are sort of sorted. Yeah. I think. Um, I don't know, ask Calvin, he's sort of in charge of the doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take those. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Uh, I'll take the hangers off there for you so you can keep those. I've only just managed to get them up there. It's <laughs> well. <laughs> I'll use them for printing on, so I'll put I'll print some stuff on them. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's um, you know, they're not cheap getting um, no, plain know. plain t-shirts. You know, um, five quid for a plain t-shirt. So yeah, I paid a lot more for them. But, yeah, you know. for a pound each, it's worth picking well, up. Well, that's what I thought. I don't want to hang on to them. No, fair enough. Right, I'll take those. That's eight. Oh. Let's see if you've got anything else in the yeah, ladies. Um, that one is actually four. Okay. And these are like two each. Two each, okay. And the and the coat that that would be four. Okay. Because that's brand new, it's only been worn about once. So. No problem, that's cool. How much are these? Those, they're £3 each. £3 each. Yeah. I was just trying to have a look because I think I've not seen like the name of them before, they're, so I was just trying to see what they were. They've been oh, forever. They're about 30 years old. Yeah, they're definitely vintage. Mm. So you've got the original um, price label on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's tidy, I am. That's all right, we'll do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll take those. Something different, isn't it? Um, three pound each. Yeah, there's a ten there if that's alright. You alright? 
Yeah, Sorry to come in. All oh, right. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I must have been away for that one. It's going to start in February next year because too many people mind that if we're not having the February. All <laughs> oh, right. Okay. I'll take it for two pound. I, yeah. I, I trust you. I'm sure, it's fine. It does fine. work. Like I yeah. said, it was working this morning. No problem. Yeah, I'll take that one. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got enough noise as it is. <laughs> there you go. Thank Cheers. you, darling. Thank you. How much are you? How much are you scales? Three pounds. I'll take that one, thank you. Nothing for you. Not for you, Cook. Nothing for you. Well, I've got something for you. Here you go. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Appreciate it. Thanks. Three pounds. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I saw it and I do. I remember you saying you, that you wanted a. I want a blender as well. But yeah. So like a mini mixer. Yeah, that's like yeah, that's a that's a dicer. So you know what I'm saying? Oh, I need to have, like chopping the onions up. Yeah. Oh well, that'll do, won't it? When I want to lift the water, it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. How much do you want for this? Oh, is it that the price there? Uh, five yeah, pounds. That's all right. No. I don't know what they're selling now. I haven't looked. No. Last couple of days. I need to scan the books as well. Yeah. Hey. Take four on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. I will then. Okay, that's eight then. <laughs> You're spending more than me, you are. Well, that's 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 the good stuff for me now. It is good stuff. Yeah. What I've got on at the minute. I keep trying. She used to be in cosmetics, so this is what she's uh, now working in the industry of defence instead. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Yeah, I that's keep, a really old one. It, it is old, old, isn't it? I keep trying different approaches, <coughs> but. Seven. Seven, yeah. Is it all there? Yes. Yeah, isn't it? It's a lovely old one, isn't it? Do you take a fiver on it? I don't think so. No. Okay, that's fine. Because no, it is a lovely set. Yeah, no problem. Five tickets. Five to choose, okay. Let's see what I've got there. Has to end with naught or a five. Naught or a five. That's one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Cheers. Oh, straight away, I've got a five there. Four, eight, five. Four, eight, five. There's a winner. Six, two, one. Six, one, nine. Um, four eight five. Just Put that one back in. Uh, someone else got another one. Sure. Wasn't a winner anyway. Four eight. It's that one there. That was it. Just that one. There it is. Some, a pair of socks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Couch potato. Did you win? Cheers. Thank you.
Again. <laughs> no, nice, aren't they? I like yeah. those. Yeah, um, the yeah, really nice. Unusual. I Yeah. Five pa Is that a five pound for the pair? That's for the pair, yeah. Oh, okay. Go on, I'll take those. Yeah. Um, I'm da I've only got a 20. Have you, have you got a 15? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I want flower soaps, that's better than your socks. Yeah, but, well, I don't know. I I'm want quite, that one. quite happy with my couch potato socks. Thank you. <laughs> See hammer pants. <laughs> Think either of those would suit me. Suit you. Mm. Yeah, well, well, that one's a medium, so I don't know whether that one would fit. But yeah, but it'd be all right if you had it over the t-shirt. Yeah, true. I'll get them because you can always get rid of them if they're no good for me. Uh, I'll put those back on there for you. I'll have those too, please. Oh, yeah. The five of there. Thank you. Cheers. Back from the tabletop, and um, I made some mistakes today. I can tell you that now. So if you want to learn things not to pick up, carry on watching. Here's everything that I picked up at the tabletop sale. Now it's only a small tabletop that one, but I do seem to pick things up every time I go. Um, I've got a real mixed bag here. This is a typical car boot lot. Um, all kinds of random stuff. This is what you love about going to the boot sales. Uh, I'll go through everything. There is some failures here, as I just mentioned. There's some serious failures. Let's start off with the fails. Um, Twister game. Um, I've never seen one of these before. I paid £2 for it, but I think it's missing some mats. So I don't even think I'm going to... I don't even know if I can even sell this. And if, if even if it had the little round mat things with it, I um, I don't think it's going to be worth great money. So I'm going to put this down as a failure. I might even just re-donate or something this um, rather than try and sell it on. Unless there is a market for like replacement units, which if there is, maybe I'll get five, ten pounds. But I don't even sell stuff at that kind of level on eBay anymore. Um, I try to aim for over £15. Pound. Um, another failure is this. It was £4. Pound, um I think it's a failure anyway. I've got, I've got to look for the exact version. This is like a double pack. This is beginner and bigger, beginner plus, which means it might not be a total failure, but from the ones I've seen, uh, this looks like a five to 10 pound item and I paid four for it. However, I, I'm not sure about whether they're all double packs or not. If, it, if not, then it might not be a failure, but paid too much for it. Didn't check it, I got complacent and I should have checked it. So yeah, don't get complacent. If you're paying, you know, five pound odd for something, it could be worth checking. I thought it was a bit of a, you know, oh, four pound, it'll be absolutely fine because some of these language things can be worth it. But this one, I don't think is going to be worth it. Check before you buy, especially if it's more than a quid or five or whatever. Let's go for something a bit better. A Laurel and Hardy teapot set. These were £5 for the pair. Really nice, actually. Just decorative teapots. I've not picked up teapots for a little while now because I've kind of been avoiding the sort of ceramic stuff, but I'll always pick it up if I like it anyway, and I do like it. 
I like those. £5 for the pair. Actually, I think uh, the value on these um, could be around £35 for the pair. I'll, I'll probably keep them as a pair. I could split them up, I suppose. Maybe £15 each, for, split them up, something like that. But I'm thinking keep them as a pair. It makes it difficult shipping as a pair, but yeah, I don't know. I'll do my research, but 30 to £35 for a £5 spend is absolutely good, absolutely fine. Next up, we've got a couple of these ornaments. They need a little bit of a clean-up. They are very dusty, but not to worry, it's fine. Enchanted Wings. Now, I did actually stop and have a little look on eBay at these, but struggling to find the exact ones. So I'm going to have to do more research. I'll probably have to use a bit of Google imaging to see these. £3 each paid. Definitely need a good clean-up. Got the original vintage price labels on. If I had to guess now on those, I'm going to say £20 each. But I could be way off the mark. So give me some leeway on those. Now let's go to the scales. These are unbranded, but I've always, always done well on nice sort of unusual looking scales and I quite like the look of these. They look immaculate, absolutely immaculate, but they are unbranded, so that will certainly affect its value. What have I put on this one? Uh, three pound paid, uh, maybe 15 to 20 on the scales, resale wise. Uh, let's do these games because, you know, I really should have taken a bit more time over these. I think I got a bit giddy because I saw GameCube and I saw Nintendo Switch and I'm thinking, bloody hell, you don't see those very often. Normally, I've been beaten to the to the front of the queue for these kind of things. Um, but what did I pay? I paid £40 for all of those. All together, we did a deal. The GameCube game was labelled, I think, at £1.50 and then these were labelled at £10 each. So that would have been £51.50. But... I did a deal at 40 for the lot. Now, let's start with the GameCube game. Not huge value for a GameCube game. Probably about £10, which a bit disappointed with that. But again, I didn't do any checks. I just bought them on a whim. I just saw GameCube and I saw Switch and I just bought them. And the, the Switch games don't have massive value either. I am hopefully going to make a little bit of money, but not a lot. Jumanji, I think, is probably about a £10 game. Brain Academy is, what, 10 to 15? I think SpongeBob is probably like a £15. Super Pets, 15-ish. And uh, Minecraft, maybe about 20 on that. So I think when all is said and done with these, paid 40, I might get 80 back. Then you've got to take your fees off it. So you could also consider this a failure as well. But I couldn't resist Switch games and GameCube games, so should have checked them. Lesson learned for me. You learn that lesson. Don't make my mistakes, because I ain't perfect. Um, I bought this. This actually, this shirt was £2. It's a Husky Explorer size large. I bought it thinking, you know, I might wear it myself. I might take it on holiday with me. Uh, but um, also, it could be worth about £20, so that's not bad at all. So I might wear it and then sell it. Happy days. Everyone's a winner there. Um, and also I got this for myself, although it's a size medium. So it's a manta ray. So it, this is Debenhams, isn't it? Um, again, I think uh, it might be a £15 shirt. Paid £2. I might wear it and I might sell it on. So happy days again. And then also, you're probably watching that video thinking, Chris, why are you buying plain T-shirts? There's no money in them. Well, there isn't really. You know, these are... I paid £1 each for these eight plain, brand new plain T-shirts. Um, £1 each, £8 for all of them. Um, but um, I've actually already been ordering some um, prints to go on T-shirts. So it kind of fits in with something that I was already testing out. So I just thought, because I've already bought a load of plain T-shirts um, for printing on, and they've cost me sort of... What did they cost me? like four or five pound each for plain t-shirts brand new and these were one pound each so i thought well these are handy just to pick up at a pound each and hopefully um 
you know, I'll be able to put some print on them. And that's what I'm sort of, I'm testing out that little, that little area of, I don't know, business. Anyway, that's it. I spent £72 at the uh, tabletop sale. And that was everything that I got down there as well. There's my little book with me numbers in. We all make mistakes and I've definitely made some mistakes today. So maybe you can learn from them. And if you take anything away from this, is that uh, don't get too complacent, especially of things that you don't know. I'm not an expert on Switch games. And I just thought at, what did they work out at like? Just under eight pound each. I just thought they would be a bit of a no brainer, but actually I'll make a little bit, but not a lot. So I should have probably checked them. Um, let me know what you think. I'm gonna drop a couple of videos just here. So there'll be one up here, there'll be one down here. And then over here somewhere, I'm gonna put it here is the subscribe button. So if you want to subscribe, just press that button. Um, go on a little journey through our channel and I really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. We're not all perfect, don't forget that. Do your research.